and the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. And I saw three unclean spirits, like frogs, come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. But they are the spirits of devils, working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth, and of the whole world, to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. As we continue to analyze dreams and visions, Israelites, it's important that you don't become consumed with your dreams and visions. Sometimes the Satans give you false dreams and visions to waste your time and energy. When you wake up from your sleep, make sure to rebuke an evil dream and to accept every good covenant the Most High made with you and go about your life. Don't spend your day trying to figure out what a dream is revealing to you. Simply ask the Father for the interpretation. Do your part on repenting, praising the Father, canceling evil dreams, and leaving the rest in the Father's hands. The scripture said to cast your cares on the Father because he cares for you. Casting all your care upon him, but he careth for you. The reason you don't want to consume yourself with trying to interpret your dreams, only the Most High can interpret your dreams. If the Father doesn't give you the meaning right away, be patient and wait on the Most High to reveal the meaning to you. When you try to figure out what a dream means, this could lead to frustration. In addition, a distraction from what is happening in your life. Israelites, make it a habit to cast all your cares on the Father and allow the Father to direct your path. The Most High will put the right person in your path to reveal truth to you. Trust the Most High. Behind the scenes, the Most High has his angels encamp around the righteous, ready to deliver the righteous from the snares of the Satans. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. As long as you're living a life that pleases the Most High, as well as doing your part in repenting daily and canceling evil covenants, behind the scenes, the holy angels are fighting on your behalf. Learning to decode the symbols you see in the spirit realm will help you connect with the Father as well as increase your wisdom on what spirit or dark power is attacking you. Remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Because we don't wrestle with flesh and blood, we must know what we're wrestling with. The spirit realm will reveal your enemy to you. Israelites, it never hurt to increase your knowledge. The scripture said a lot of people perish for a lack of knowledge. As your knowledge increase in the awakening, give the Most High room to do the necessary work in you. Don't get in the Most High's way by trying to accomplish only what the Most High can make happen. Humble yourself. Give the Most High space to transform you by renewing your mind. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God? Israelites, it's important to respect the Most High's timing. It's wise to keep your life balanced. When the truth of the Most High's words begin to sanctify you, use the wisdom gained to serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth. Your newly found wisdom is not meant to make you become prideful, nor are you to use the truth of the Most High's words for evil. Remember, it's the Most High that does the good work in us. Last week, we began to learn how to decode the symbols you see in the spirit realm. So far, you learned that the language of the spirit realm are symbols. You learned that most of your dreams are not literal because the symbols in the spirit realm doesn't have the same meaning with the language of the physical realm. Everything you see in the spirit realm matters. That is why you're in the best position to decode the symbols you see. Leaving anything out could lead to a false interpretation of the symbols you see in the spirit realm. Israelites, before we begin to look into our ancestors' dreams in the scriptures to help decode the symbols you see, it's important that you understand the reason the Most High allow you to see into the spirit realm. The main reason the Most High allow you to see into the spirit realm, 
to level the battlefield in spiritual warfare. When an evil covenant is established, most people are unaware of the evil covenants because of a lack of knowledge about the spirit realm. The Most High allow his people to see, to warn of danger, or to give you instructions. The scripture said to us in the book of Job that the Most High come to speak with us in a dream and to give us instructions. For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men, and sealeth their instruction. A lot of Israelites and indigenous black people mistake the instructions and warnings given to them in the spirit realm for end time prophecies, especially dreams about destruction. Israelites, the Most High allow you to see what is happening to your spirit behind the scenes. The Most High show you to warn you of the traps, the Satans, and the workers of iniquity set for you. The Most High also use your dream life to give you instructions. Majority of the scriptures in the Bible are dreams and visions our ancestors had. When the Most High transferred the everlasting covenant to our father Jacob, the Most High established the covenant in the spirit realm. And Jacob went out from Beersheba and went toward Haran. And he lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set. And he took of the stones of that place and put them for his pillows and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed and behold, a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached to heaven and behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac. The land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west and to the east, and to the north, and to the south. And in thee, and in thy seed, shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And behold, I am with thee, and will keep thee in all places whither thou goest, and will bring thee again to this land. For I will not leave thee, until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. The Most High did not show up in the physical realm to tell Jacob that he will give him the land of Canaan for a possession. The Most High did not send a person in the physical realm to have Jacob sign documents giving him possession of the land of Canaan. In the spirit realm, the Most High told Jacob of his plans. Jacob had to decide to accept the covenant or reject the covenant. Jacob accepted the covenant and the scriptures revealed that when Jacob awake from his sleep, he built an altar and made a vow. Jacob said if the Most High will be with him and watch over him, as well as provide for him, the Most High will be his God. And Jacob rose up early in the morning and took the stone that he had put for his pillows and set it up for a pillar and poured oil upon the top of it. And he called the name of that place Bethel, but the name of that city was called Luz at the first. And Jacob vowed a vow, saying, if God will be with me and will keep me in this way that I go and will give me bread to eat and raiment to put on so that I come again to my father's house in peace, then shall the Lord be my God. There is not a deed on record that claimed the Most High, the God of Israel, gave Jacob our father the land of Canaan for a possession. This covenant was established in the spirit realm and sealed by the words the Most High spoke to Jacob in the spirit realm. The scripture said the word of the Most High will not return to him void. A lot of you have dreams and visions of the Most High giving you instructions about your life. The only confirmation you have is the word of the Most High and the promises he made to you in the spirit realm. Just like our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob only had the word of the Most High to confirm the everlasting covenant. A lot of Israelites and indigenous black people allow the heathens laws and religion dictate how they serve the most high. If they can't find confirmation in the scriptures, they don't believe. 
I am sure the Canaanites did not believe the Israelites when they came to take possession of the promised land. Regardless if the Canaanites believed the Most High gave the Israelites their land for a possession, the Israelites inherited the promised land and they dwell in the land until the Most High removed them from his presence because of the sin of idolatry. The Most High used the spirit realm to answer your prayers, give you insight about your life and the lives of the people around you, as well as to give you instructions of what he wants to do for you and through you. For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction. Israelites, your dreams reveal sensitive information about you. If the Most High wants to use you to do something significant and he revealed this to you and you go bragging about it to the world, the workers of iniquity will hate you. Let the life of Joseph be an example unto why you should keep your dreams and visions private. Joseph's brothers hated him for his dreams. The Most High revealed to Joseph early in his life of his destiny. Because of the glorious calling Joseph had of ruling over his brothers, his own family despised him for the great calling on his life. Israelites, if his own family despised him for his dreams, what do you believe the workers of iniquity that have a perpetual hatred for you will do to you for your dreams and visions? And Joseph dreamed a dream, and he told it his brethren, and they hated him yet the more. And he said unto them, Hear, I pray you, this dream which I have dreamed. For behold, we were binding sheaves in the field, and lo, my sheaf arose, and also stood upright, and behold, your sheaves stood round about, and made obeisance to my sheaf. And his brethren said to him, Shalt thou indeed reign over us? Or shalt thou indeed have dominion over us? And they hated him yet the more for his dreams and for his words. Keep your mouth shut about what the Most High is revealing to you in the spirit realm. When you know how to decode the symbols in the spirit realm, you will understand how the Most High communicate with you. A lot of the answers to your prayers were answered in the spirit realm. Because many of you don't know anything about the spirit realm, you believe the Most High is not answering your prayers. Remember, your journey with the Most High is spiritual, not religious. In addition, your journey is a personal relationship that is unique to you. To find the Most High, you have to go in the Spirit. Remember, the Most High is Spirit. That is why the Word of the Most High said, walk in the Spirit. In addition, the Word of the Most High said, the Father desire for His people to worship Him in the Spirit and in truth. The Scripture said, the Kingdom of the Most High is within you. You must look within. Neither shall they say, lo here or lo there, for behold, the Kingdom of God is within you. Israelites, when you know the voice of the Most High, decoding the symbols you see in the spirit realm becomes easier. The Most High transferred the everlasting covenant to Jacob our father in the spirit realm. The reason a lot of people don't know their calling or what the Most High is preparing them for, they refuse to go deeper with the Father. Most people don't go past Jesus, the idol god of the heathens. Majority of Israelites' journey end with Jesus. When the principalities and dark powers attack them, they have no clue because they don't go past Jesus. Israelites, majority of what you see in the spirit realm is speaking about your life or the life of the people that are close to you. For example, if the spirit of poverty is attacking your cousin, your cousin have no knowledge about the spirit of poverty. You who have knowledge about the spirit realm, the Most High can show you what is happening with your cousin for you to pray for your cousin as well as to help your cousin overcome the spirit of poverty. Israelites, that is how the Most High use you to help each other. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. But to do good and to communicate, forget not, for with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. Religion made many of you believe because you had a vision, you're a prophet called by the Most High to share your dreams with the world. Israelites, that is manipulation. The workers of iniquity are trying to find out the condition of your spirit. If your spirit is malnourished, they will bound you spiritually. Your journey with the Father is a personal relationship. Religion tried to make your spiritual journey a one-size-fits-all. 
Making everyone have one faith and one God is easier to control the world. That is why the new world order is working towards one government, one faith, and one God. There is nothing new under the sun. Israelites, if you take the time to get to know the Father for yourself by establishing a personal relationship, I guarantee you will see a transformation in your life. Not only will your life improve, you will begin to see the world in a different light. When the Most High open your spiritual eyes, everything will begin to make sense. The reason so many people are struggling, the God of this world has blind their spiritual eyes. The flesh is dominating their life. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. When the God of this world blind the eyes of the people, it's difficult for them to believe the truth of the Most High's words. Only the Most High can open their eyes to truth. The people who can only see with the eyes of the flesh can't perceive truth. Therefore, they will react with unbelief. Israelites, the time has come for you to strengthen your spirit. Another reason the Most High allow you to see what is happening behind the scenes in the spirit realm, to give you the chance to change the outcome. Once the will of the Satans and the workers of iniquity manifest in the physical realm, you have to engage in spiritual warfare to be set free. If you don't pray and fast, the workers of iniquity will enslave your spirit until you recognize the covenant and break the covenant through spiritual warfare. Before the evil covenants gets to the point of manifesting into the physical realm, the Most High give you the opportunity to pray against and to cancel the covenant when he show you what is happening to your spirit in the spirit realm. Remember, the Most High will honor all covenants. Israelites, having dreams and visions is not only about future prophecies. Dreams and visions is a form of communication between you and the Most High. Now that you know there's more to your dreams and visions, I want to take you back to the butler and the baker's dreams. When we analyze the baker's dream, the symbols used to interpret the baker's dreams is far from the language of the physical realm. Joseph said to the baker that in three days he would die. If you use the language of the physical realm to decode the baker's dream, death would not be the meaning to the baker's dreams. When the chief baker saw that the interpretation was good, he said unto Joseph, I also was in my dream, and behold, I had three white baskets on my head, and in the uppermost basket there was of all manner of baked meats for Pharaoh, and the birds did eat them out of the basket upon my head. When you use the language of the physical realm to interpret the baker's dream, death would not be the result to that dream. If the baker saw people going to his funeral, that would better symbolize death if we analyze the dream using the language of the physical realm. Joseph interpreted the dream for the baker. The baker's dream was a negative dream. And Joseph answered and said, This is the interpretation thereof. The three baskets are three days. Yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thy head from off thee and shall hang thee on a tree and the birds shall eat thy flesh from off thee. And it came to pass the third day, which was Pharaoh's birthday, that he made a feast unto all his servants. And he lifted up the head of the chief butler and of the chief baker among his servants. And he restored the chief butler unto his butlership again. And he gave the cup into Pharaoh's hand. But he hanged the chief baker, as Joseph had interpreted to them. When you use the word of the Most High to decode the symbols in the spirit realm, you will comprehend why the baked meats, the birds eating the baked meats from the top of his head was a negative dream symbolizing the baker's death. Israelites, earthly food does not feed your spirit. Earthly food only feeds your flesh body. The beast system is plagued with genetically modified food. Even the fake food can't nourish your body properly. That is why so many are plagued with deadly diseases in the beast system. Earthly food is not a symbol that is used to feed your spirit in the spirit realm. The Most High often use books and scrolls that have an aftertaste of honey as the symbol that feeds your spirit in the spirit realm. In the scriptures, the Most High gave the prophet Ezekiel a scroll to eat. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest. Eat this roll, 
and go speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. Bread is also a symbol that can be used in the spirit realm that nourish your spirit. Whenever you see yourself eating earthly food like meat or greasy food in the spirit realm, that symbolizes witchcraft attack using the spirit of infirmity. The spirit of infirmity is sent to plague your body with a sickness that would lead to untimely death. The baker seeing baked meats being eaten by the birds on top of his head is a negative dream. To see the bird eating the baked meats from the top of his head does symbolize death. Birds are often associated with death in the scriptures. The scripture said, wherever the carcass is, the fowls of the air will gather. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. In the physical realm, we can witness vultures eating dead animal carcasses. In the baker's dream, the birds were eating baked meats from the top of his head, symbolizing that the birds would eat his body. The three baskets on top of his head revealed that the dream was about his life. If the three baskets was on top of someone else's head, then the dream would be about that person. Joseph interpreted the dream by revealing that in three days, the king will kill the baker and the birds will eat his flesh. Later in the scriptures, we read that indeed the king killed the baker by hanging him on a tree. The scriptures has given us many stories of people's flesh becoming food for the fowl of the air. And the carcasses of this people shall be meat for the fowls of the heaven and for the beasts of the earth, and none shall fray them away. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together under the supper of the great God that ye may eat the flesh of kings, and the flesh of captains, and the flesh of mighty men, and the flesh of horses, and of them that sit on them, and the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great. Birds in the spirit realm symbolizes death. If you see yourself being attacked by a bird in the spirit realm, that is a negative dream. The scriptures also associate the beasts of the earth with death. If you see yourself being attacked by the animals, the scripture labeled the beasts of the field, lions, tigers, and many other land animals, the dark powers of this world sent the spirit of death after you. There are many other ways the spirit of death show up in the spirit realm. A clever way the spirit of death is sent is when you see yourself engaging in activities that result in death according to the laws of the Most High. The book of Leviticus give us a list of sins that result in death if you engage in it. The sin of bestiality is a sin that result in death. The scripture said both the person and the animal should be put to death. Another sin that result to death is if a son sleep with his father's wife. The penalty of that sin is death. And the man that lieth with his father's wife hath uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Reuben, Jacob's firstborn son, committed the sin of uncovering his father's nakedness when he slept with Bilhah, his stepmother. Jacob intervened on his behalf by praying for him. That is why the Most High did not kill Reuben. As a result to his sin, he lost the firstborn birthright. The testament of Reuben will explain further of what happened between Reuben and Bilhah. If you see yourself being intimate with a family member where the laws of the Most High say the penalty for that sin is death, that is another way your dream is revealing the spirit of death was sent against you. Birds are not the only symbol that symbolizes death in the spirit realm. As your knowledge increases about the symbols you see in the spirit realm, the easier it becomes to decode the symbols. Israelites, you have to decode the symbols by using the word of the Most High. The baker said, there was three white baskets on his head. The basket on the very top had all kinds of baked meats. Everything the baker saw had a meaning in the dream. Joseph said that the white baskets symbolizes the number of days his dream would manifest in the physical realm. Israelites, I hope you're beginning to comprehend the language of the spirit realm. Never use the language of the physical realm to decode the symbols you see in the spirit realm. 
in the butler's dream, the three branches he saw also symbolized the number of days he would be restored to his position. And Joseph said unto him, This is the interpretation of it. Three branches are three days. Yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thine head and restore thee unto thy place. And thou shalt deliver Pharaoh's cup into his hand after the form of manna when thou wast his butler. The scriptures give us many examples of dreams and visions that could help us decode the symbols we see in the spirit realm. Jacob, our father, had several dreams recorded in the scriptures. When the Most High was transferring Laban's wealth to Jacob, the angel of the Lord, Michael, instruct Jacob in the spirit realm on what he must do to receive his wages from Laban. And your father hath deceived me and changed my wages ten times, but God suffered him not to hurt me. If he said thus, the speckled shall be thy wages, then all the cattle bear speckled. And if he said thus, the ring straight shall be thy hire, then bear all the cattle ring straight. Thus God hath taken away the cattle of your father and given them to me. And it came to pass at the time that the cattle conceived, that I lifted up mine eyes and saw in a dream, and behold, the rams which leaped upon the cattle were ring straight, speckled, and grizzled. And the angel of God spake unto me in a dream, saying, Jacob, and I said, Here am I. And he said, Lift up now thine eyes, and see all the rams which leap upon the cattle are ring straight, speckled, and grizzled. For I have seen all that Laban doeth unto thee. I am the God of Bethel, where thou anointest the pillar, and where thou vowest a vow unto me. Now arise, get thee out from this land, and return unto the land of thy kindred. Israelites, as you heard in the scriptures, the angel of the Lord instruct Jacob on how to receive his wages from Laban. Your dreams is a form of communication between the Most High and you. In the spirit realm, the Most High direct your path. It's important that you increase your knowledge about the spirit realm. Some of your prayers are answered in the spirit realm. Israelites, this is what walking in the spirit looks like. The angel of the Lord was with Jacob to do the will of the father by providing and protecting Jacob. Just as the angel of the Lord said to Jacob that he heard his prayers and saw the altar of pillar, he made and anointed when he made a vow to the most high. The angel of the Lord also instructed Jacob to return to his father's house. I am the God of Bethel, where thou anointest the pillar, and where thou vowest a vow unto me. Now arise, get thee out from this land, and return unto the land of thy kindred. I find it interesting that our people accept the intercessor as the angel of the Lord in the Old Testament, but in the New Testament they can't accept him to be an angel. Religion fooled many to believe he's now the father in the flesh. I recommend you all to reread the scriptures. This time, ask the Most High for the spirit of wisdom, discernment, and understanding to better decode the sealed scriptures. Israelites, animals in the spirit realm can symbolize unclean spirits. Oftentimes, unclean spirits masquerade themselves like animals to conceal their identity. The book of Revelation revealed to us about the three unclean spirits that took on the likeness of frogs in the end times. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. The book of Revelation is a compilation of dreams and visions John saw in the spirit realm that was preserved throughout the generations. Most of the scriptures you're reading are dreams and visions the prophets before us have written in their generation. None of what is being revealed in the book of Revelation were events that has taken place in the physical realm when John had the visions and dreams. This is why the book of Revelation is mainly used to point us to the signs of the times. All the events that we're reading in the book of Revelation has happened in the spirit realm. Some of the signs of the times in the book of Revelation haven't manifested in the physical realm yet. Israelites, this is why I tell you everything happens in the spirit realm first. If you want to know what is happening to your spirit and the world around you, it's important that you know what is taking place in the spirit realm. John said that he saw three unclean spirits that had the appearance of frogs coming out of the mouth of the dragon, the beast, and the false prophet. The symbol that is used to identify the unclean spirits were frogs. When you see frogs in the spirit realm, know that they are unclean spirits. Frogs are marine spirits. 
Most animals that live in water or near the water usually symbolizes marine spirits in the spirit realm. John went on to say that the unclean spirits were spirits of devils working miracles. But they are the spirits of devils working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. John confirmed to us that some animals in the spirit realm symbolize unclean spirits. They are spirits of devils working false miracles, as well as misleading the kings of the earth to battle. The Satans are using these unclean spirits of devils to recruit the kings of the earth to fight against the army of the Most High on that great day. Israelites, can you now differentiate the language of the spirit realm with the language of the physical realm? It's important that you don't use the language of the physical realm to decode the symbols you see in the spirit realm. Using the language of the physical realm to decode the symbols in the spirit realm will lead to confusion. The Most High is not the author of confusion. But God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Israelites, now do you understand why your spiritual journey is a personal relationship with the Father? Your relationship with the Father is nothing like religion has made it to be. You have a role to play, and the Father has a role to play. You can believe in the Messiah and follow the Messiah back to the Father. However, you still have a role to play in your deliverance. Just because you can find forgiveness of sin when you repent, it doesn't mean you sit back and do nothing from now on. This is the dangerous doctrine Rome has been teaching for multiple generations that kept our people in bondage until this day. A lot of you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, but your spirit is still in bondage. How could this be when the God of this world said, whoever the Son set free is free indeed? If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. How is that you have accepted their version of the Messiah and he hasn't set you free? Your spirit is the real you. Any injury your spirit receives in the spirit realm has consequences. That is why a lot of you are living a defeated life. A lot of Israelites and indigenous black people's spirits is malnourished and caged. You can give thanks to the head leaders of the synagogue of Satan, the Roman Catholic Church. They are the leaders controlling the doctrines you learn in religion. Christianity is not the only faith the mother harlot control. The mother harlot control all religion, as well as all the kingdoms of this world. That is why you can find altars built to their God, Jesus, in every nation. You're going to know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Where do you believe Lucifer's seat is located? Did not Lucifer said he would sit on the top of the congregations in the sides of the north? Where is the Vatican City located? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Israelites, the spirit realm is very important in your spiritual journey. Why wouldn't religion teach you about the spirit realm if what is taking place there manifests in the physical realm? The head leaders of the synagogue of Satan don't want you to become free. That is why they teach you lies to keep you in rebellion against your God. Rebellion is like the sin of witchcraft, said the scriptures. Religion is nothing but witchcraft and idolatry. Idolatry is a sin the most high hates. Assemble yourselves and come. Draw near together ye that are escaped of the nations. They have no knowledge that set up the wood of their graven image and pray unto a God that cannot save. Another scripture in the word of the Most High that symbolizes unclean spirits with animals in the spirit realm is a scripture found in the book of Luke. The Most High said to us, I have given you power to tread on scorpions and serpents, as well as all the power of the enemy, and by no means could they hurt you. Behold. I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Why would the Most High give us power to tread down scorpions and serpents? We can easily kill these animals in the physical realm. In addition, most of us are not under any threats by these animals in the physical realm. The scorpions and serpents the scriptures are referencing are unclean spirits. I know a lot of you have had dreams with serpents in them. 
The workers of iniquity love to use serpents to attack you in the spirit realm. Serpents also symbolize marine spirits in the spirit realm. The Most High reassure us that he has given us power over the unclean spirits as well as the entire kingdom of darkness. When you know the word, use it. Another scripture in the Bible that symbolized unclean spirits with animals is when the Most High said he would give us back the years the caterpillar, the canker worm, and the locusts have stolen from us. And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. Again, I will say majority of us are not under any threat by caterpillars, locusts, and canker worms in the physical realm. In the spirit realm, when you see these animals, know that that is an unclean spirit disguising itself as such animal to establish the covenant. You can associate locusts with the stripping spirit. You can also associate these animals in the spirit realm with the spirit of poverty. The Most High said to us that he would give us back the years these unclean spirits have stolen from us. Israelites, despite what the enemy prepared for us, the Most High has made a way to deliver us from their traps. You have to decide to serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth. You have to put on the armor of the Most High to stand against your enemies. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The Satans and the entire kingdom of darkness have many ways to come against you. If you serve the Most High, the Father, in the spirit and in truth, the Most High will cause your enemies to flee before you seven ways. The only reason some of us are trapped in the beast culture is due to a lack of knowledge. Now that the Most High is exposing the secrets, take advantage of the knowledge he's making available to you in the last days. The Most High did say, in the last days, knowledge would increase. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Israelites, the truth of the Most High's words will not correspond with the half-truth of the beast culture. Nor will the truth of the Most High's words give you confirmation to the doctrines of devils from religion. The truth you're learning in the awakening is meant to sanctify you, in addition to influence you to let go of the idols of the heathens and return to the Father. Listen to the Father when he reached out to you in the spirit realm. The remnant know the voice of the Most High, the stranger's voice they will not follow. Israelites, trust the Most High with all of your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Give the Most High the opportunity to show you who he is. The time has come for us to return to the God of our fathers. Give the synagogue of Satan back their God. You don't want their useless gods. To the remnant, allow the Most High to direct your path. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate.